of the children of famous comedian Carl Rayner joined the National Comedy Center to open a new exhibit showcasing the comedy legend's legacy yesterday. Our Bronson Rasmussen was on hand for the ribbon cutting and joins us live in the studio today with more. Hello, Bronson. Hey, Justin. All three of the comedian's children, who have made waves in the enter entertainment industry themselves, helped the Comedy Center Executive Director, Journey Gunderson, open the exhibit, which features more than 75 artifacts from Carl Reiner's career. It's been a remarkable experience for our team to process uh, preserve and now present more than 75 boxes of material from one of the most prolific comedic minds the world will ever know. Uh, Carl Reiner's more than seven decades in comedy have not only been remarkable for their consistency, but their longevity and their ability to inspire legions of artists for generations to come. Reiner's family had the opportunity to tour the exhibit before its unveiling. This is our father. We, you know, we spent every minute of our lives with him and except for the last two years. And so it's, it means the world. But I think more important is it's going to mean a lot to a lot of people. Because uh, my sister Annie was saying, you know, he's a loved person and he wanted just everybody to be happy. I mean, that was his main goal in life is to make people uh, happy, make them laugh, make them have a good time, and so this museum and his exhibit will do that for people. Carl Reiner was an actor, director, screenwriter, and famous stand-up comedian, winning dozens of awards. His works included popular shows like The Din Van Dyke Show, Your Show of Shows, and his connection to other big names like Mel Brooks. And I have this feeling that, you know, he was famous for all these years, all these decades, longer than most people. And um, I think it's because he had this very open heart and that was, that was who he was. And I think it touched people and it drew them to him. This exhibit is the most recent in the Comedy Center's collection, a place that artist Lucas Reiner touts as a collection of comedic artifacts that will allow people to discover those lost to time. The great thing about centers like this is that they go on and on and on long after we're gone. Somebody may not know who he is, walks in here, and it's all for them to discover, all in one place. And that's very gratifying. Now, Justin Carl Reiner was also a founding advisory board member of the National Comedy Center, and he passed away in 2020.